Hi everyone, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. This video is dedicated to the top 10 tinted moisturizers. There's actually 11, but I thought top 10 sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> that just shows my mentality today. I have no idea what I'm thinking. Anyway, this is the top 11 tinted moisturizers. This is going to be a pared down version of the video that I did previously with my mum on the top tinted moisturizers. Pretty much my opinion still stands on that previous video, but this one is going to be a shortened video. There are going to be less options, plus there are going to be some new additions that weren't available when we filmed the previous video. So... If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. And I would really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already. If by the end of this video, you found it entertaining or helpful in any way, come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. So hopefully this video will have something for everybody. There is a variety of price points in this video. There's also a variety of coverages. So if you're after something that's really hydrating, but more of a fuller coverage, there will also be something in this video for you. Also, we're gonna touch slightly on skin type. So my skin type is dry combination. I do have quite a lot of dry patches, especially around this area here. So I need something that is really hydrating and nourishing on the skin. But if you have an oilier skin, that that might not suit you at all. So hopefully there will be a couple of options that will suit an oily skin as well. Let's get started with the sheer to light category. So the first product that I absolutely love and use all the time is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Now, they also have an oil-free version, which I haven't tried and I am really desperate to get my hands on it. But every time I go to order it, it's always sold out. So that says a lot to me possibly that is better than this one and I don't know that yet. So this is the one that I love. It gives a really nice, very sheer to light, dewy finish. It evens everything out. It looks very flattering on my skin. This is not gonna be one of those tinted moisturizers that has any airbrushing capabilities, but it looks very fresh and very youthful on my skin um, and does exactly what I want it to. This is hydrating, this is nourishing but not overly nourishing and it will last a good eight hours on me but I do need to powder this in place in my oilier areas. So if you do have a really oily complexion, this might not be for you, especially if you're wanting great longevity out of this product. This gives the most beautiful skin-like finish that completely transforms my skin and just gives that my skin but better look. You get 50 mils in this and it also has an SPF of 30, which is broad spectrum PA++++. So although I would never ever in a million years, and if you followed me for a long time, you will know this, suggest that you should use this as your sole SPF. You should always use an SPF first thing in the morning. This is a great topper for your normal SPF. So uh, yeah, really like it. The next one in the sheer to light category is from Chanel. This is their tinted moisturizer and it's just beautiful. This gives that radiant, dewy glow to the skin. I can actually build this up as well, but it does look more dewy the more you build it up. I feel like this actually looks better on my skin with a dusting of powder over my oilier areas. Not really for longevity, but just for overall look. I really like this. I would wear it a lot more often if I'd got my correct shade because I actually bought this to go on holiday and bought medium plus, which is way too dark for me right now because you know, I'm not a tanner. I don't like the sun, I'm more of a vampire. I stay indoors as much as I physically can and when I go outside, I'm plastered in SPF and I have a huge hat on and massive sunglasses. So, you know, I don't tan. But um, yeah, this, I would have to fake tan to be able to get away with this. It's um, beautiful though, it really is. I should buy my real shade in this. I really should. So this is called Sheer Healthy Glow and that's exactly what you get with this product. Again, if you have a really oily skin, you may not be able to get away with this. If you have an oily combination skin, 
you may want to give this one a go. My auntie absolutely adores this tinted moisturiser. Um, it has an SPF of 30 in here, which is broad spectrum PA++. So uh, again, don't rely on this, but it's a great topper for your standalone SPF. Okay, let's move on to the sheer to light medium category. This next one is a brand new love of mine. I adore it. I absolutely adore it. I've spoken about this on my channel several times before. Oh, this is an all singing, all dancing tinted moisturizer slash very light foundation. This will even wake up in the morning before you go downstairs, make you a cup of coffee, put it by your bedside. <laughs> <laughs> but for the price of this, you could actually employ a butler in your household. <laughs> this is from Shantakai and it is their Shantakai Future Skin Cushion Skincare Foundation. I'm in the shade Aura. I adore it. I absolutely love it. Um, it, it literally does everything for me. So it's light coverage, but I, it's buildable and it dries down. So I can actually wear a mask with this and not have to worry that there's gonna be loads of transfer on my mask afterwards. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not going to be completely transfer proof, but I do find that this dries down. It doesn't leave any tackiness on the surface of the skin, which I know a lot of people don't like, and it just leaves the most beautiful flattering glow, even though it doesn't feel like that tackiness of a tinted moisturizer. I, you know, I can't rave about this enough. It's lovely, but it comes with a humongous price tag to boot. So I would definitely not suggest that you ever go into debt for any sort of skincare or makeup related items. So if you look at the price of this and go, whoa, this item is not for you. However, if you don't blink, you may want to try this because it's absolutely superb. You get um, 12 grams worth of product, which is 0.42 ounces, and uh, it does come with a refill. So you don't get a lot for your money. So that's another kicker, but it's gorgeous. It's stunning. Okay, so this next one is not one that I personally reach for on a daily basis because this is not suitable for my super dry patches on my skin. When I tried this, it clung to those dry areas, it emphasized the texture of those dry areas, and it looked really scaly and not very pleasant. However, the reason I am putting it in this video is because it looked beautiful on my normal areas of skin, and I have heard this is great for anybody with oily combination or oily skin. So I wanted to give you options. This is the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. It dries down to a natural matte finish. It's also touch dry quite quickly, so you won't get any of that tackiness on your skin, and it is quite blurring over pause. I don't feel like it's overly airbrushing, but I do feel like it just gives you that soft focus look. If you have an oily combination skin and you haven't tried this already, if you're looking for something that's really lightweight on the skin but buildable, then you may want to give this one a go. I like it on my normal areas, I just wish the rest of my face was normal as well. <laughs> Let's move on to the sheer to medium category. Now these are the tinted moisturizers that are far more versatile than any of the ones that I've spoken about previously. These are the ones that will give you that sheer coverage if you want it, but these are more buildable and will build up to medium to medium medium coverage. So let's get on with the first one. And uh, I did a full review of this and I wasn't that kind to this when I reviewed it but I love it now. I absolutely love it. This is the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. I am in love. Once I realized how to actually apply this, 
Firstly, if you want sheer, sheer coverage, if you apply this with a brush, it will just give you that radiance without much coverage. You can also apply this with a blending sponge if you want, but if you want the best coverage, finger application is best. You need to put a tiny bit in the palm of your hand and then warm it up by massaging it with your fingers, then apply it with the fingertips. This is a really liquidy formula, but by massaging it in the hand you thicken the formula and it's like you awaken the formula and it adheres to the skin and it's just the most beautiful radiant canvas very very natural but buildable i i love it I absolutely love it. If I ever want something that's just gonna give me that hint of glow that looks really natural, that my skin but better and is more affordable than the Chantecaille, this is the one that I go for. Now, it's not touch dry. I don't find that this really does dry down. This will still leave a tacky finish unless you powder it in place. So it feels more like a tinted moisturizer than the Chantecaille. But um, yeah, this this would be my go-to if I'm wanting buildable coverage, but I'm wanting that hydration and that nourishment on the skin. And I'm also wanting long wear because that will last quite a long time on me. But again, I do have to powder it in place to get ultimate longevity. So absolutely stunning. Um, and just think... It it's amazing. And you get quite a lot for your money as well. So you get 50 mils in here. Moving on to the next tinted moisturiser in the sheer to medium category. This is from NARS and it's their Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. It's got an SPF of 30 in here with a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. So great UVA and UVB protection in here. But again, don't use this as your standalone SPF because you're not going to get that protection because you're not going to apply enough of it. So use it as a topper upper. -er. <laughs> Use it to top up your standalone SPF is what I mean. You all know what I mean by now. So this one is a beautiful, beautiful tinted moisturizer and it's multi-use. So you will be able to use this if you have an oily complexion and you'll be able to use it if you have a dry complexion. This is an oil-free formula, so I also feel like this is really long wearing on my skin. I get a really decent amount of wear before this starts looking a little bit shiny. This really does dry down on me, unless I'm building this up to medium-medium coverage, in which case it tends to still feel a little bit tacky on my skin. It's super moisturizing. It's not overly nourishing though, but it is hydrating. So I don't feel like my skin feels dry with this. It feels like weight. It doesn't look dry at the end of the day. I, I really like it. Some tinted moisturizers that are oil free make me look a little bit scaly, not at first, but after eight hours, I look in the mirror and think, oh, <laughs> this is not one of those products. My skin does still feel hydrated after a good eight hours of wear. So I really, really like this. It's a great tinted moisturizer. Moving on to the next product. This is from Trini London and it's the product that I have on my skin today. This is the BFF Serum De-Stress. I adore this. I don't speak about this enough on my channel. This is in the shade Jemima. I did a full review of this and I was using the wrong shade for me, but I mean, this is bob on. It really is. I love it. I absolutely love it. So the reason I like this so much is it is hydrating and it is nourishing on my skin, but it doesn't look overly dewy. It looks very natural, very, very flattering. It's touch dry. It lasts all day. It just, oh, I just really, really like it. I, I really don't know why I don't speak about this more. It's such a beautiful, beautiful light foundation or tinted moisturizer. It's buildable. It's lightweight. It feels super comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel overnourishing like I'm suffocating my skin. I just can't feel it on my skin. My skin is touch dry. 
It's also transfer resistant. I wore this on the school run the other day and wore a mask and it did not come off on my mask. Well, you know, a little bit came off. You can't really avoid that. All foundations, even if they say they are transfer proof, some of it is going to come off on your mask. But this did a really, really good job. I still had the product left on my nose and on my chin, which, you know, it, it doesn't happen very often when I wear a mask. So yeah, I really like this. It's beautiful. Just a bit of added information for you, I will list all of my shade matches for all of the tinted moisturisers that I've spoken about today next to the name of that tinted moisturiser in the description box. That will also come with a link where you can click on the link and go straight to store and purchase that product if you want to. Most of those links are affiliate links. There are a couple of products that don't have affiliate programs in this video. I will link those also. They are all amazing products. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that everything will be listed for you in the description box. Let's move on to the last tinted moisturiser in the sheer to medium category. This one I have spoken about so often on my channel. This is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil and I love it. I feel like this is better than a lot of high-end tinted moisturisers that I've tried in the past. So um, yeah. If you want a bargain and you can find your shade in this because it is slightly difficult, I highly recommend it. This is an amazing tinted moisturiser. It feels beautiful on the skin. It feels like weight on the skin. This is buildable so you can have it really sheer but you can also build it up to medium as well. It's a soft radiant finish with a hint of dewiness if you decide to build this up. So I just think it's so flattering on the skin, it really is. I also find this really long wearing and uh, my mum has also tried this. She has a combination oily skin, definitely an oily T-zone for my mum and normal everywhere else. And um, as long as she powders her T-zone, this will last all day on her as well. It doesn't budge. And it's super, super flattering, um, yeah. Gorgeous. Moving on to the medium to full coverage category. This first one was a no brainer. I mean, this is one of the first foundations I think I ever reviewed on my channel and it went in a drawer and then I got it back out again and wondered why I'd not been wearing it more regularly and then put it back in the drawer and then got it back out again and the, <laughs> the cycle continued. It's a great, great product, super hydrating, really nourishing and has a really high SPF in here to boot to top up your normal standalone SPF. So it's definitely a great product. This is from It Cosmetics and it's the Your Skin But Better CC Plus. So this is a colour correcting product. It's got great coverage and that 50 plus UVA, UVB broad spectrum physical sunscreen. So if you don't like those tinted moisturisers and foundations with a chemical sunscreen in, if you get along more with a physical sunscreen, you may like this one. So um, yeah, it's got great coverage, it's buildable, it gives that really natural, radiant, dewy finish to it, more so the more you build it up, obviously. It has a better shade range now than it did when I previously reviewed it. So my shade is Fair Light and it's pretty spot on for me, I can't complain. I really like it. Really, really like it. I don't find that this is transfer resistant, but with a little bit of powder, it does have more longevity. And you have to be quite careful how you apply this. Because it's such good coverage, I tend to try and avoid these sorts of areas and in between my brows when I first start applying it. I like to, as soon as I've got hardly any product on my brush or on my sponge left, I go around those areas because I find that if I'm sweating a lot during the day or if I'm extremely active, those are the areas that go quite dewy and cakey. So I like to have as little product in those areas as possible. But if I apply this right, it's stunning really is beautiful. So if you're after something more of a medium to full coverage, 
I really like this. Super hydrating, super nourishing and really nice. The next product in this category goes to Misha. This is the Perfect Cover BB Cream. It's got an SPF of 42 in here with a PA rating of plus, plus, plus. I've gone for the shade number 21, which is light beige. Pretty spot on for me, but you may struggle to find your shade in here because the shades are limited. They really are. If you can find your shade, well, lucky you, because this is really nourishing, really hydrating. It's got just a beautiful finish to the surface. It's very skin-like. It feels lightweight on the skin, but offers that coverage. I really, really like it. It's beautiful on my skin and just gives me that bit more. If I'm just feeling like my skin just needs that little bit more, this is what I choose. It definitely gives me that edge that I need some days. Moving on to the last product that's in this video. I mean, these last three products really haven't been tinted moisturizers. They've been a little more than a tint, but they are all moisturizing. So this last one is no exception. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. It's medium to full coverage. It's really lightweight and comfortable on the skin. It does have an SPF of 50 in here, which is broad spectrum, but it's a chemical SPF. So if you're wanting a cheaper-ish version of the IT CC Plus, you may want to look here if you can cope with the chemical SPF. This also is more suitable for those with an oilier skin type. I like it on my dry skin, don't get me wrong. I just feel like this is slightly better on my dry skin. This one, more airbrushing in places. This dries down a little better on my skin, whereas if I want to build this up, it stays a little tackier on my skin, but I really like it. Now I've done a direct comparison between the IT CC and the Maybelline Urban Cover. So um, if you want to check that out, I will list it in the description box and up here for you, but I like it. I really like it. I struggle to find my shade in this. At the moment I have 116, which is Sesame. It's way too dark for me at the minute, so don't go off that if you are my shade twin. I, I very rarely go for medium to full coverage foundations or anything like that, so this is one that I very rarely reach for, but it's still a great, great product. Now, I've realized after finishing this video that I didn't say if any of these had a fragrance in or essential oils. I apologize for that. I will list that in the description box. So if it does have a fragrance or essential oils, it will say F or E in there. So just look for those in brackets next to the name of the tinted moisturizer. I'm really sorry, I should have done my job better. I apologize, I'm human, I make mistakes. I should have thought of that before. Shame on me. Okay. Regardless of that, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. At this point, I usually tell you which one is my ultimate favorite tinted moisturizer, but I cannot pick between four. So I have the Chantecaille Future Skin um, Cushion Skincare Foundation. Oh, <laughs> so nice, but super pricey. So that cannot be my ultimate favorite. I've also got the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. Absolutely stunning, multi purpose just beautiful really buildable the NYX bear with me tinted skin veil awesome product and the one that I have on today from Trini London de-stress it's so nice and I'm looking at myself in the monitor at the minute thinking why have I not worn this all week so they are my thoughts hope to see you all in the next video bye everyone <laughs>